Hello guys, today let's create a smoke impact effect in Naira. We can see the example in the level. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, first we need these two textures and you can download them for free on my Patreon. The noise and the trail, yeah, it's very simple. And now let's create a new material, a smoke material. It's always change blend mode to translucent, shading model and lead, and to set it. Then put these two textures in the material. Add a text card and rotate. We can also add a dissolved effect for these textures to make the material look better. Yes, we do this many times. So we need a add and a texture sample. Here we use the texture provided by the Unreal Engine. If we want this texture to move more randomly, we can convert this texture to object and then search for way. Yes, here the material function motion for way chaos. Connect them and let's preview it. Okay, it's pretty good and very convenient. Now we need a component mask to mask the channel. Just our channel. And multiply it by 0.1 to control its intensity. Finally, connect it to add and let's preview it. Yes, we can see the dissolved effect on the noise texture. And this texture's detail is the same. Copy this node. Oh uh, yeah, we haven't changed its rotation speed yet. We can give it a negative 0.5 and this one we can negative one or one yeah maybe one okay connect them okay oh yes we can also add a dynamic parameter to control these parameters in the negra prime one is speed prime two is offside a time of sight. Okay, we can use speed multiply by the time at of sight and connect it to rotate time. Okay, and then we need to multiply it by a inverted circle mask to create the effect of the center displaying during diffusion. Okay, first we need add this texture sample. And then we can multiply it by a sphere mask. A is text card and B is 0 0.5. Radius and hardness, we need a particle relative time to control it. This expression means when the particles are spawned, this value is zero. And when the particles is died, the value is one. So we can use LERP to dynamically change these parameters. Radius, we can set it to 0 0.8 and hardness may be 0.25. Okay, now we need another lerp. This time A is 1, B is 0. And let's use a float to preview it. When the value is 1, yes, we can see a black circle mask that we want. 
Okay, then multiply them. And we need the power to control its intensity. Also, we use dynamic parameter and rename the param3 to power. Okay, and then we need another circle mask, same as before. But here we can use the material function, radio gradient exponential. Same as sphere mask. Finally, we need a particle color. Use alpha from particle color, multiply the mask we just created, and then add a depth fade. Okay, that's our opacity. Oh yes, we can also use it for reflection. Let's add a lerp. And in details, let's search refraction. Refraction method is index of refraction. Okay. A is 1. B is 1.05. And add a normal. 1 Okay, we can see the refraction effect And then let's add an emissive color First, let's use particle colors RGB Multiply a color the color we set ourselves maybe a pink okay then add a lerp and connect it to A and then we need a second color to make it more colorful Color 2, we can change it to blue and connect it to B. And alpha, we can use this value, power, and another power. The exponent, we can change it to 4 and saturate. Okay, now we get an additional color. Now let's multiply these two textures. The value as alpha in our blended color. Okay, add a lerp and connect it to alpha. A is particle color, multiply a value to control its intensity, maybe 0 0.1, okay. And B is additional color. Finally, connect the result to emissive color. Okay, our material is done. Save the material and now let's create a new Niagara. First, we change the material in Sprite Rendered. Use the smoke we just created. And then in Emitter Update, we need to change life cycle mode to self. Infinity. Loop duration is 1, okay. Also, we need a spawn burst. Spawn count is 3. Okay, we can see the material in Niagara. 
initialize particle, we can change lifetime mode to random 0.25 to 0.5. And color, we can direct sight to write 101 0.2 and alpha is 2. Spirit size, we can also use a random uniform mean is 100, max is 200. Okay, in particle update, we can add a scale spirit size use a curve just 0 to 1 or 0 0.05 to 1 it's okay also we need to scale color we can use a float from curve to control the vector okay 0 to 1 to 0 and when key data is 0 0.2, the value is 1. Then we can drop the value to 0 at 0 0.5. So we can see there are some black effect. It will look more real. And alpha, we can also use a curve 1 to 0. Okay. Finally, we need a dynamic material parameters. Speed, we can use a random value. Negative 2 to 2. And offset is also random value. Negative 1 to 1. For power, we can use a curve. Let's change the curve mode to make it more like an exponential. When key data is 1, the value we can set it to 5. And when key data is 0, the value is 1. Okay, it looks good. Now let's see the effect in the level. Yeah, it's great. We can also use the user parameter to control its color in the level. Add a user parameter in your color. Okay. For example, here we can use a blue. Yeah, it looks great. We can set the color we like. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.